me being 16 years old and you know filtering through record bins at the local alternative record store and finding things that looked interesting but had absolutely no concept of truly what they were and then you know buying them then taking them home finding that they were actually all predominantly on the same record label and then falling in love with the music and being like how on earth did this happen and is it even a remote possibility that I could have anything to do with this? Because at that point, I wasn't really even playing guitar. I was just completely inspired to make music from these records and these people and this type of energy. Far from crusades. I'm excited to see all the bands playing this weekend. Several of my all-time favorite bands ever are playing, so it's, it's hard to describe it because um, like some of these things are like what started, they gave me the initial interest in playing music in the first place, you know. Every band that's playing this weekend has had an experience doing music that is unlike probably 90% of the music world. Right. Touch and Go offers to put out a record that's very sincere and very honest. I think that what happens is the bands that actually enjoy the label grow and the label that actually enjoys the band grows as well. So it's an ongoing process. So I think it really uh, encourages things to kind of be further. It's important for me just as an artist or musician to see people make things that they care about and not have them get diluted and you know wrecked by industry you know <laughs>